Hi guys, it's Darren here from Deep Blue Apps and Utopian Games and we've absolutely been inundated with emails requesting this template ever since we've shown it on the Game Salad forums and YouTube so we decided to release it as a template so you guys can learn from it and basically it's just making a train follow a track um, you see we've got all these different track pieces here now these track pieces can be moved around or you can simply go in and uncheck the can move and if you do that then you won't be able to move them so you can have some set pieces or you can have them movable there's a lot of options you can do with this one you can have a game where you've got to keep trains apart and if they crash into each other then it's game over you could have <clears throat> a reusable track so you've got to get the train from points like A to B just by reusing the pieces um, of track available or you could actually give the player a set amount of track pieces to fill in the gaps. Um, like I said, there's loads and loads you can do with this. You can have carriages. You've seen that's first, the second train at the start of the demo going across. Um, you can actually have the carriages behind the trains. Um, there's loads and loads of things you can do with it. <clears throat> and yeah, it's just really a, a nice template, guys. Let's just try and make um, a bit of a bigger track. We'll have it going up here. Have it going across the top. Um, so coming down here, that down there, and uh, let's move that one across. And like I say, as you notice, the train will not interact with the track piece that you're moving until you've placed it into position, until you lift your finger off the screen, and then it'll actually interact. So yeah, really nice template. We're going to be doing this one really cheap. Um, as always, you can only pick one piece up at a time as well. And I think that's pretty much it, guys. I don't think there's a lot else to show you. I have actually made a bigger track as well, just to show you how to make um, a bit of a bigger train track. And basically, just the sprites are bigger for this one. The actors are bigger. Um, same principle, though. Each track has got its own ID. And, yeah, really, really nice. And like I've said, track won't actually, the train won't interact with the track until you let your finger go and it snaps into position. So, yeah. I'll speak to you soon guys and have fun with this one. It's been a pleasure making it and talk to you soon.